Now, despite multiple shootings around Jacksonville, a local program, Cure Violence, says that its work to reduce gun violence in Jacksonville has not stopped. One man who works in a Cure Violence zone says the city needs more mentoring for children in the city. News for Jacks reporter Janice Harris is live in one of the zones on the east side. Janice. Mary, Cure Violence has two zones, one on the north side and one on the east side. I'm here on the east side, as you mentioned. But when I talked with the program director for the north side, he told me that Cure Violence has not stopped. But COVID-19 did force them to make modifications to how they work out on the streets to help others. There have been dozens of shootings and multiple people dead, making it a violent summer in Jacksonville. But a national group. Cure Violence has two local groups here in an attempt to maintain peace. Bridges to a Cure on the city's northwest side and Noah's Ark on the east side. Paul Tutwaller manages the northwest side group and says COVID-19 has forced the group to make changes while trying to reduce violence. We're having to go through social distancing uh, and approaching it through social media. Tutwaller said they saw crime happening in February when COVID closed businesses, and it's happening again now. And now we're having to deal with um, idleness and people being home and um, people being cramped, different issues that are uh, occurring different than what we've been uh, normally uh, accustomed to dealing with. On the east side of Jacksonville, there's another zone for cure violence. Dana Miller owns this barber shop on A. Philip Randolph at Pippin. He's in the Noah's Ark crime violence zone. It's the same corner where a drive-by shooting happened two weeks ago. I wanted to start crying because these are my young brothers. He's turned his life around after serving 10 years in prison. Though he is not a part of cure violence, he is a part of the change and making the community better. When I get out of prison, I want to come back to my block the neighborhood that I helped tear down to help build it back up. He is saddened by the recent shootings in the city, but believes young adults need more mentoring and opportunities in the community. These communities are trying to find multiple solutions to combat devastating violence that impacts everyone. And I'm also waiting to hear back from the overall program director for Cure of Violence. I know this is the budget season, so he was not available for an interview today, but also waiting to hear back from them on the effective rate numbers that they have that they shared with us at the beginning of the year to see the effective rate going into the middle of the year. So there's more to come from this story. Reporting live on the east side, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.